And a West Alexandria community is reeling tonight following the deaths of two children in a tragic house fire. The bodies of Malachi and Malia Brandburn were found after a fire tore through their home. Kelly King has been working this story for you all day. She joins us now with how the community is coping and how such a tragedy even happened. The Preble County Sheriff's Office says the two children were home alone at the time the fire sparked. They say right now no charges have been filed because they're still investigating. But the deaths of these two children have left the school and community devastated. Tragedy is, is just hard to deal with, and especially with young kids. A makeshift memorial and memories. Sorry to hear about that. Wish it didn't happen. And a community in shock. Someone dying in a fire should never happen. I don't know what the reason was. Residents like Janet Barnhart and Ray Waldeck can't believe this is all that remains after a fire rips through a West Alexandria home and cuts two young lives short. It's really hard. Firefighters rushed to the 3400 block of U.S. 35 Saturday morning when flames erupted. The fire had overtaken the home, and Malia and Malachi Bradburn were killed. The two attended Twin Valley Elementary School, Malia a fourth grader, and Malachi in third. Superintendent Clinton Moore was shaken by the news. It's, it's a real killer. You know, it's just something that really is, it's, uh, you know, it's just gut-wrenching. The school brought in grief counselors, not only for the students, but also the staff. And it's just something that basically uh, you hope that you never have to do it, but in reality, in the world that we live in, uh, death happens, and grief is, is, is a part of that. Barnhart says she has two children who go to Twin Valley, one in second and one in sixth. She says she's prepared to talk with them about the loss. Wait until they come to me. I'm not going to say nothing. Just wait for them to come to me, and then, then I sit down and talk to them. For now, the school, as well as the community, is banding together to keep their memories alive as they try to move forward. Could it be anybody's kids, our kids, anybody's? It's just that, you know, they're, they're a part, you know, basically of, the, of this family uh, that we call, you know, Twin Valley South. The state fire marshal office has not ruled on the cause of the fire. Meanwhile, a GoFundMe page has been set up to support the family. Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.